All right, so we tiled this this beautiful staircase. I mean, this is uh, the tiled stairs look beautiful. I love them. When we built these stairs, you have to be very careful of your local building codes. You can't just go and start building stairs because they have to be, for one, they have to be a minimum height. They can't be over a maximum height. And then they also cannot be any variations between the risers greater than three-eighths of an inch through the whole staircase. So I've seen a lot of mistakes of people that come in and they just figure, oh, I'm just going to tile the stairs. Well, you better have your tape measure and plan accordingly because uh, there's pretty strict building requirements on the stairs because if, if they're different heights and they don't meet the minimum tread width and riser height, I mean, a fall can happen and someone could get really hurt. The horizontal part of the stair is called a tread. The vertical part of the stair is called a riser. So we've got a tread and a riser. Uh, our California building codes are the riser cannot be less than 11 inches. So we are right at 11 inches. So riser depth can be no less than 11 inches. Riser height can be no more than seven and a half, and we are at seven and three eighths. And so all of these stairs have to be within three eighths of an inch of seven and three eighths, which they are. We've we've planned accordingly. So uh, those are those are a few of the things you got to be really careful with with stairs. Uh, you got to use um, obviously it's it's they get a lot of traffic they get a lot of direct traffic so again we use the Ardex flex bone on top of plywood underlayment and so we built a really strong structure they got to be strong the other thing you want to take into consideration is uh, edge protection or a stair nosing profile what we used is the Schluter RO 100 that's the Rondek edge trim and that does a couple things it, it not only protects the edge but it also uh, gives a little bit of a visual uh, break in the tile so that as you come down the stairs uh, it's a little bit easier to see the edge of the stairs because when you do a tiled staircase it's real easy to lose depth perception and you don't want people to miss. So if you can have something that stands out even just a little bit on the edge of the stairs, that's going to keep people uh, from, from overstepping or tripping or missing a step. Because we all know how it is when you're walking and you don't expect a step to be there. You can eat crap. So um, yeah, this is, this is important. It does two functions. Schluter has a number of different stair nosing profiles. In commercial jobs when we do stairs, I like to use one that actually has uh, the uh, it has like uh, skateboard grip tape on it. It has like almost like sandpaper, so that it gives you even a little more tread and it stands out a little bit more. So, but yeah, this is a beautiful staircase. Um, you'll notice too, um, layout is very important. Uh, we have all the way up the stairs. We have um, equal cuts going up. Um, we split the joint in the middle so that we kept the. The layout going up and then as we came down onto the floor you can see our, our grout joints even match up with our floor so all of this takes a lot of planning and consideration before the, the fact so do not just go into building a tiled staircase without you know doing doing the research on your local building codes planning it out for a good layout and also of course making sure that the structure, whatever you're building it with, is very sound because they get a lot of traffic in the same area. The same steps will hit over and over again. So, uh, so yeah. Make sure to watch the next video coming up. Thanks for watching my videos. Click like and subscribe. Make sure to share this video with anyone who you think could use encouragement. Maybe they don't like their job. Maybe that's you. Maybe you need to get into the building trades. My videos are made to encourage and inspire you, so share the videos, like them, leave your comments in the section below if you have any questions for me. We'll see you on the next video.